All right, boys and girls, this is Reverend Norm coming to you live from a heavily fortified underground bunker in a top secret undisclosed location. It's currently 21 degrees and snowing outside, a toasty 98.6 Fahrenheit inside the friendly confines of my rectum, and I am currently playing my vintage red sparkle Ludwig drum set quite vigorously. This drum set was purchased from a former pitcher on the 1977 Wisconsin State League champion Green Bay Blue Ribbons minor league baseball team, who also enjoyed a brief career with the Texas Rangers of the American League. Lifetime statistics, which I actually looked up, indicating that the previous owner of my red sparkle Ludwig drum set was credited with a grand total of two big league innings pitched over the span of a grand total of three mound appearances, yielding a grand total of two bases on balls, one strikeout, and leaving the game with a grand total lifetime ERA of 15.43. Hey, I don't expect much for the American League. Do you? Okay, never mind that. Anyway, in these troubled times, brothers and sisters from coast to coast and border to border, the huddled masses yearning to breathe free are looking for a song with the message. That's right, a song with the message. We'll look no further, huddled masses yearning to breathe free. This is such a song. Let the residents resonate through every middle sex village in town. The time for silence has gone the way of all flesh. I, Reverend Norm, have a most, a most compelling urgency that you, the huddled masses yearning to breathe free, need attend to. The message is clear. The message is simple. Rocking unto me, planet Earth, and other galaxies, and the Federation, and all that kind of crap. There's something you need to know, and what you need to know is... Is... Let me assure you that nothing is further from the truth. I ain't no one trick pony. I don't even like that movie. There's more to Reverend Norm than dashing good looks and a red spark of Ludwig drum kit. Cause not only are my drums cooler than shit, but my drugs are cooler than shit. That's right, my drugs are cooler than shit. I got drugs so new, they ain't even got names yet. I got cheese flavored marijuana. I got chocolate chip cocaine. And I take all my quaaludes down to the Port Plaza Mall. And a little Asian guy at custom nails paint Hello Kitty on each side. I got your designer drugs, baby. I got your designer drugs, baby. And you know what? And you know why? Cause my, my drugs are cooler than shit. My drugs are cooler than shit. My drugs are cooler than shit. And my drugs are cooler than you. My drugs. My drugs. My drugs. My drugs are cooler than you. Now you think I'd be happy with my drums and my drugs being cooler than shit and all, but I'm still not satisfied. I'm still not satisfied. I'm not satisfied because, for reasons quite inexplicable to me, I'm not getting enough poon tag. I'm not getting enough poon tag. Reverend Norm is a man who likes his poon tag, and I ain't getting enough of it. Admittedly, my quarter's a bit high, but never mind that. And you know why I'm not getting my goddamn quarter of poon tag? I'll tell you why. It's because chicks think that they can get away with circumventing the entire boy germ process these days. They got vibrators. They got wild all girls strap on action. They think they got it down for the count. They think they got it rendered obsolete. They think they got it to the goddamn abdominal stretch of love. But they ain't got us. They ain't got us yet. We ain't dead yet. We ain't down for the count. We ain't down for the three count, the six count, the nine count, the ten count. We ain't down for any kind of count. I don't even know where the hell I am. I've got to read along my monologue. I can't even read it. I'm so not down for the count. I can't even read my monologue. That's okay. I'm gonna figure it out, man. They don't have us. They don't have us yet. Because we got something that they can't get along without. We got something that we got in quantity. And we got to convince them that they need it. They need it bad. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to find my place pretty soon. All right. Yeah, here we go. And, you know, it ain't our naughty bits. No, because they can go get some high-tech, vibrating, juice ball paradise books and buzz themselves into orgasmic bliss. And it ain't our fantastically refined cunnilingus kind of skills. No, they don't even have to travel outside the confines of their gender for that. No. What we got? What we got, brothers? In quantity. And we have to convince them that they need it's fresh squeezed right from the pump demon seed that's right that's right i'm talking about pearlychism i'm talking about the demon semen buildup we gotta convince them that if their evening doesn't end with a hot jet of man sperm shot across their stomach the chest flesh neck face back or parts unknown that they aren't having a good time that they aren't reaching their sexual potential as a woman of the day to affect this noble cause brothers i propose a massive propaganda blitz the likes of which the western world has never known that's right you know those billboards that dairy board puts up everywhere with pictures of the people with the white mustaches and it says got milk across the top we're gonna point out the same kind of billboard for girls with white mustaches but the signs are gonna say got calm instead they're gonna say got calm instead that's right that's right and it's all gonna work out pretty good for me cuz it's gonna work out pretty much for me cuz cuz my calm is cooler than shit my calm is cooler than shit my calm is cooler than shit and my calm is cooler than you As 
Ben for I'm playing my red Sprinkle Ludwig drum set. Well, my friend and former band named Perry Peralt used to play a blue Sprinkle Ludwig drum set. A blue Sprinkle Ludwig drum set. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe it was a blue Sprinkle, blue, blue Sprinkle signal slinger set or whatever the hell those things are called. But that's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Stop ruining my monologue. Stop ruining my monologue with the damn questions. Anyway, anyway, Perry Peralt got his blue Sprinkle Ludwig kid or whatever the hell it was. It was some guy in his 60s who used to be in a polka band, and they came in. They each drum came in a little hard shell case, and on the hard shell case was a bumper sticker, and each and every hard shell case that bumper sticker said. That's Pokemon in 74. January is Pokemon. And you're saying, Reverend Norm, huh? Reverend Norm, why doesn't your friend Perry Peralt play his Blue Sparkle Ludwig drum set anymore? You know, did he fall out of favor with it? Did it fall out of favor with him? Did he trade it in to buy some Roto Tarms or, or a jet ski or something? No! No! Perry Peralt doesn't play his Blue Sparkle Ludwig set because he got killed in a car crash five days after his 18th birthday! Yeah, that'll put a hitch in your giddy up. That'll put a hitch in your giddy up. throw you up to be good. My friend and ex-bandmate Daniel Wheelock. My friend Daniel Wheelock used to play an orange sparkle Ludwig set. An orange sparkle Ludwig set. And you say, well, you know, why doesn't Daniel Wheelock play his orange sparkle Ludwig drum set anymore? Reverend Norb, what's the deal on that? Well, he doesn't play his drum set anymore because he got killed in a car crash on Father's Day in 1990. Oh, yeah. Happy Father's Day. Happy fucking Father's Day. And now you're thinking, you say, Reverend Norb, everybody you've ever known or been in a band with that, that played a sparkle Ludwig drum set has died in a car crash. No. Aren't you kind of looking over your shoulder, thinking perhaps you're marked for destruction? I mean, aren't you thinking that the hand of God is going to come down, smite you for some sort of, like, you know, sparkle drumstead hat trick? You know? And I'm thinking, you know, uh, maybe I am marked for destruction. Maybe I am marked for destruction, but I got one thing to say to you, God. I got one thing to say to you. Come get me, God. Come get me, God. Come get me, big man. I ain't afraid of you. I know you know where I live. I know you know I got a car I ride. I know you know where I keep my red spike a little bit from set. Yeah, when it was up your ass, you know where I was, wouldn't ya? Wouldn't ya? Uh, uh, uh. But you know, you know, Perry Peralt and Daniel Wheelock were still with us, God. They might have something to say to you. They might have a little something. They might have some issues they want to work out. They might have some points they want to bring up. There may be a couple grievances they might like to file. They might want to have some words with you. And you know, I think of Perry and Daniel were here today. I think I know what they might say. I think I know what they Well, I know what Daniel would say. He'd say, hey man, got a beer? But never mind that. I know the second thing, the second thing Daniel would say and the first thing that Perry would say. They'd say to you, they say, God. God, my drums, I could have been shit. 